Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Uh, today we're on the Windows 11 on the Asus L210M laptop. And uh, I'm also trying a different microphone today, so let me know if it sounds any better, worse, what have you. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to put Windows 11 on this laptop is to test uh, Android apps. Because as you may have seen, Android apps through the Amazon App Store are now supported on Windows 11. At least if you're in the United States, which I am. So I thought I'd test it. So here's what's up. First of all, the way you're supposed to do it is you open the uh, Windows App Store, which came up on the other screen here, and <clears throat> you're supposed to download the Amazon App Store, right? Fair enough. Amazon App, if I can type, Amazon App Store. And initially I knew something was wrong when nothing came up in my search. Luckily, online I found a link. If I can find my mouse again to uh, a deep link to the App Store, which should open it right up. So I open it, and it comes to find out that the Amazon App Store, as you'll see in a second, is not available on my device. It'll eventually figure that out. Yeah, your PC doesn't meet the requirements for this product. Okay, so what are the requirements to use Android apps on Windows 11? <clears throat> well, you need a... PC, you need the right version, you need ARM 64 or x64, which I have, but you need at least 8 gigs of memory, 16 recommended, or you need at least an 8th generation core i3 or Ryzen 3000 or a new Snapdragon or above. Minimum requirements. So unfortunately, I can't even test Android on this laptop because it does not meet the requirements. Now, I'm pretty sure I could install the uh, Android Studio and run the Android emulator, but um, for whatever reason, the uh, requirements I have, the requirements are not, my laptop's not good enough is what I'm trying to say. Now, it is interesting that um, if you look at the minimum requirements here, they uh, blow any Amazon brand tablet out of the water, so... But that's neither here nor there. I get that they probably want it to be a super good, super smooth experience, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, my laptop does not meet the minimum requirements for Android on Windows. As I said, I could probably install Android Studio, the Android development tools, and get it working. But do I want to go through all that on this laptop just to run an Android app? Probably not. If you guys watch my channel, you know my thoughts on uh, Android apps on a laptop or a desktop. I didn't think they were necessary on Chrome OS Flex. And so if I didn't think they were necessary on Chrome OS, they're really not gonna be necessary for me on Windows where pretty much every application under the sun is already available on Windows. So why would you need Android? I don't know. But I was interested to test it out. Unfortunately, I can't test it out. Uh, I think this is the only computer I have in the house that's even um, supports Windows 11 because of their requirements. So I'm not going to be testing Android apps on Windows. Uh, if anybody really wants me to go through the whole runaround and try to get them working, I can. I'd prefer not to, but I, I will do that for you because that's how nice I am. But there it is. Uh, if you are in the United States and you do have at least an 8th gen core processor or better and uh, you want to test it out, all you got to do is go to the Windows Store, evidently, search for Amazon App Store, and go from there. You can let everyone know in the comments how it worked for you. <laughs> it's funny that the uh, the only minimum requirement that I really met was the location one, the United States thing, which has nothing to do with uh, my computer. But there it is. Uh, that's the requirements to get Android working on your Windows 11. Uh, try it out. Let me and everyone else know what you think. For me, it doesn't work. Oh, well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.